Guys, Kelly Ray had a whole lot to say in the diary room and we are here to talk about all of them because um, uh, some crazy stuff that Kelly Ray revealed in the diary room, um, uh, it really got me a kind of, wow, this guy must really be a very, very strong man. Honestly speaking, I was seriously waiting for his wife to do her diary section before I would do this video, but guys, I have waited, I waited, I waited. His wife haven't gone to the diary room. Guys, I just finished watching Chinwe's diary section before I started doing this video and I discovered that Chinwe is a very big liar, a manipulator and someone who wouldn't want to, you know, listen to understand but listen to defend. Ladies and gentlemen, in this particular video, I do not really want to be talking about Chinwe's diary section because I had already prepared what I wanted to talk about before Chinwe's diary section. I was just waiting for Cassie to do her own diary section so that I would confirm some of the things that her husband said in his own diary section. Well, why I await Cassie's diary section, ladies and gentlemen, let me quickly, you know, just you guys because I'm not be smart in the happen. So, why Kelly, Cassie, and and one of the Mbadiwe twins, we are having a conversation upstairs at the gym area. Another conversation was going on between Nelly and Chinwe. Before we could go to where they were having that conversation, or before the cameraman could took us to where they were, guys, we now saw Nelly apologizing to Chinwe and would not know exactly why she was apologizing to her. And we all concluded that the reason Nelly was apologizing to Chinwe is because of the incident that happened last night and to be quite frank with all of you guys that have actually raised a whole lot of questions in our mind as we are asking is she apologizing that you know she was the one that took chinwe gold bag and put it inside her laundry bag or why is she even apologizing guys you know it is not yet clear to us um up to now i've not even seen this housemate having conversation or chinwe even having the conversation with her boyfriend about what nelly was apologizing about so before i make further comments about it, I really have to wait for conversation to be had or for Chinwe, you know, to explain the whole thing to her boyfriend so that I will know exactly what Nelly was apologizing for because if she is apologizing for that gold bag, that simply means that she was the one that took, guys, honestly, I don't want to assume anything. Let me just, you know, hold it here and keep doing my observation. On to the next gist, ladies and gentlemen, Zion was seen exposing Sean and Wani and according to Zion, he said that Ruth caught Sean and Wani shagging, having sex, knocking in the room while everyone were outside that Ruth caught them red-handed doing what they were doing. Ladies and gentlemen, I was shocked, I was surprised, and guys, I couldn't believe it. I saw, I saw Sean and Wani don't go to their own last night, so. Are you serious? Yes. When he said this, Femi was shocked and surprised as Femi was just asking him like, did you see them? How did you know? And he said that it was Chinwe that told him that Ruth caught Sean and Wani red-handed, shagging, knocking and having sex. I was just like, what? Guys, initially, I wouldn't have believed it because of the, you know, back and forth that had been going on between Wani and Ruth. I would have thought that maybe Ruth wanted to exaggerate the whole thing, that that was not what happened. But for the fact that the camera took us to the room where Sean and Wani were shagging, and the moment they saw the camera, guys, it might even be that they were done with the shagging because the moment the camera took us there, Sean was already adjusting his pants because, guys, there was serious movement on Sean's part, you know, Sean was seriously trying to adjust himself to leave the whole room. And when he stood up from that bed, ladies and gentlemen, I told all of you guys all of this in my previous video, but all I did not know was that it was indeed shagging because that night there was no conversation, you know, about if it was knocking or not. And we did not get to really see if it was knocking. That was why I was defending my sister Wani, only for me to find out that truly it was shagging that they shagged. Oh my goodness. Guys, to be quite frank, Wani's hypocrisy scream loud. Like the way it is men not be here. Like, was she not the one that was telling O.C. that eh, she, there is something that she cannot do on national television no, that if her mom caught her doing this and that, that her mom will kill her. This one, and, oh my God. Like... <laughs> She would went as far as telling us that, thank God that she and Sean have not gotten that close, that she and Sean cannot do this one and do that one. Meanwhile, she have been shagging, like she have been aggressively shagging with Sean under the duvet. 
Oh my goodness. Even one of them told OC, why do we having that conversation? That this is not even the first time that, uh, what's their name, Mo? Zimwe are having sex in the house, that they have been doing it in the room. Guys, meanwhile, is this even the first time? Is this even the first time that Wani and Sean is doing so? Oh my. <laughs> Guys, I was here in the morning defending my sister Wani, saying, eh, my sister Wani cannot do this, my sister Wani cannot do that. I was even going as far as saying that we should all just wait till she do it. That for now she has not done anything wrong, but that when she do anything wrong, that I'm going to come here to talk about it and criticize her. Ladies and gentlemen, only for Wani to form my hand, only for Wani to come and paint me black. Imagine, it could probably be it was when I went to do video that Zion went to report the whole matter. In fact, Zion reported himself, who, according to him, he said him and Z Chinwe have done it two times in the house. That the first time they did it, they disturbed the whole room. That the next morning, Ruth came to meet them to tell them that it's guys, is it this Ruth that is always finding out people that are shagging in that house. The Ruth came to meet them to tell them that she couldn't sleep because of their shagging and the knocking they were knocking in the room. And he now made up his mind that he cannot shag again in the room, that if he must do something like that, that it is going to be in the bathroom. That that was why, you know, when they wanted to do it the day before yesterday, they went to the bathroom, that he wouldn't have even done it too, if not that Chinwe was disturbing him. That Chinwe was the one that was seriously on heat. That the way Chinwe Chinwe's body was scratching her that she couldn't even hold herself. That was why they went to the bathroom. And by the time they were done, that if you see the kind load that he dropped in that toilet, I'm just like, oh, oh, all these our innocent housemates, they don't so far. All these our innocent housemates, they don't. So that the kind loads where that guy go drop, go that the kind load where that guy go plant is. <laughs> So now the kind load where that guy go plant inside Big Brother bathroom and Femi was just like take it easier so that you don't impregnate her and he was like um, he, 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 he released outside that he cannot come inside Chinwe and Chinwe cannot even allow him to come inside her. Guys I'm just like <laughs> What does she have them? <laughs> What does she never end Guys, nothing we'll never see and hear from this. Guys, you know, we've been seeing crazy housemates, but this particular season, the housemates are just discovery. Like, um, like how will how will Wani come outside the house and defend this? How will she de <laughs> you know? <laughs> Wani, she was claiming holier than thou. She was claiming innocence. She was claiming that she have not done this. She have not done that. Meanwhile, she have been secretly. Imagine that Ruth did not see her. So I would have been here defending rubbish because if for those of you guys that watched the video that I did in the morning, you would have seen the way I was defending Wani, saying that Wani and Sean did not do anything, all because of the fact that she told us in the morning that she was not going to cross lines in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I cannot because of what anybody say in that house come and be defending rubbish. Like, guys, I was awake when camera showed us Wani and Sean on the bed and Sean was seriously adjusting his something or whatsoever he was adjusting under the duvet. And I did not read meaning into it because I felt, you know, Wani would stick to her waist and she wouldn't want to cross lines with Sean. Oh my goodness, I beg, Edjo, I think this will be ending this particular video. I, I'm so, so disappointed, to be quite frank with all of you guys. 